It flicked a stone and hit me in the stones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the RC Story. My name is Ammo. Guys, in this video, we're going to be rerunning the Rover and ELT now this particular car guys is the last time we're going to be running it on the channel with this setup now if you haven't seen our gps speed room with this on grass be sure to check it out i'll leave a link just up here in the corner guys um it was when we gps tested this car on grass i believe it hit about 43 mile an hour and that was quite big and quite impressive for something this size i was quite happy with that however We've never GPS ran this car on tarmac. Now you've probably seen, I don't know if you have, you may not have or may have not. It was, I think back end of last summer, we actually raced a little 125 motorbike with this and we absolutely annihilated it in a car park. If you haven't seen that video guys, I'll put a link to that video at the end of this. Be sure to check that out. Now in this video guys, we're gonna be GPS testing this on tarmac for the last time. That will give us an indication of where this car sits in terms of benchmark on speed. Now there's a very good reason that we're doing that. And the reason is that this 8S setup is going out and we're coming in with a 12S setup. You heard right guys, this is getting a big powerhouse. It's getting a 12S setup in it. We're gonna be doing that. So the next time you see this car on the channel after today, this will be running a 12S setup. And I'm looking forward to that. Without further ado, let's go out and let's see what this car hits on a GPS speed run on tarmac. Let's get into this. Guys, we're here on location with our little beast, the <laughs> Rover LT45. This is the last time this car is gonna be ran with this setup. So this is running an 8S setup. It's the last time it's gonna be ran on this before we put the big powerhouse of 12S into it. We're gonna run a GPS run. We've never done a GPS run on tarmac on this. It's the first time we're gonna do it and probably the last on this setup. Kyle's with me. He's never actually even driven this car on no. tarmac. So he's holding the camera for me today. However, this is the first time he's gonna be running this straight into a speed run. Let's see how we get on. I only got about three minutes last time because Ammo wasted all the battery on me. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, it's all ready. The GPS is here. I'm just pressing start on that when it works there we go it started booning away what do you think Kyle? that's wild <laughs> I'm moving out the way for this one whoa absolute beast guys I don't know whether that's faster than the Kraton though. The Kraton that we had out last time, I don't know if that's faster. You reckon? Yeah, I think it's close. Let's let's have a look guys. When this phone works. Oh, it's so temperamental. Kyle's phone for you. <laughs> I might have forgot to charge this. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I forgot to charge my phone, so we had to use Kyle's. Guys, 52 mile an hour. That's pretty impressive. It's a lot faster than my phone. <laughs> <laughs> what did that pull um, on grass, if you remember? Uh, 45. It was 44, I think. It was yeah, 44, 45. It was, it was 43 first run. We remapped it, and it got one more mile an hour, if you remember. So yeah, it's 44. Yeah. But the impressive thing is, is it's done that in a thousand feet. Wow, 52 mile an hour guys in a thousand, well 1066 foot, that's impressive. Yeah. Well, this is going 12S isn't it? Yeah, and that terrifies me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is going to be an absolute weapon at 12S. It's a weapon as it is, considering how big it is. The car's absolutely enormous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge. Bit of a hoon, guys. Woohoo! She's got some power. She actually wheelies. 
Um, for an A test guy, she lifts quite well. Whoa, look at her go. This thing is a beast. It's extremely loud to be fair, but she is a beast. The GPS is knocked off. Kyle's going a bit wild. Woohoo! All right, let's go pick up the GPS. So we're in the road down there somewhere. Whoa! Just look at it pick up. That thing shifts. <laughs> it hooks up instant. I can't believe that I'm actually going to do a 12S setup on this. This is going to be something crazy. He loves hitting the curves. Look at it go. Guys, this thing is wild. Yeah. What happened to you? stones <laughs> <laughs> see that again oh, it flicked a stone and hit me in the stones oh. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> yeah. let's not do that again oh. <laughs> so, told you this car was wild <laughs> this thing is an absolute animal Whoa! So Kyle, what do you think of it? Well, is this not what it's all about? <laughs> the big <laughs> smile. That, it's incredible. I think well, the last time I played with it on the field, I was like, yeah, I think I really enjoyed it. Yeah. This time, uh, th this is a better scene. This is definitely where this car belongs. It's good on grass, but crikey, it's something else on the tarmac. <laughs> um, I look forward to the 12S. Terrifying, but I look forward to the 12S. Guys, like I said, this was the first time Kyle's ever actually controlled this car or actually seen it on tarmac. Um, you guys probably seen last summer, we had this out quite a bit. We raced a motorbike with it, etc., and we actually beat the motorbike. Um, there is a link to that video at the end of this one, but this thing is an absolute weapon on tarmac. Kyle didn't believe me. He's seen it on grass. He didn't know it would be this impressive on tarmac. He's absolutely gobsmacked. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually impressed because that hasn't done. It scratched it, but it's not done as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, that's cause these bolts here take the brunt of it, which is pretty cool. It's got a few scuffs on the side, but you know what? It's an RC, ain't it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, right, shall we uh, <laughs> cut? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, our Reuben ELT, what a car. Now, this was the last time. I was running this car on an ATS system. It was actually the first time Kyle's actually taken this car out on tarmac. And as you've seen in the video from his expression, he was left gobsmacked. This car, he's ran it on grass before, but he's seen this was day and night difference on tarmac. I knew this thing was special. And guys, what a speed it pulled. 52 mile an hour, completely stock um, on ATS fantastic result i can't complain with that for well, the size and the weight of this car for it to be moving at 52 mile an hour that's absolutely incredible if i pulled this setup out and i put it argument sake in our creighton or in our x max then things will go to the moon <laughs> literally this car is absolutely phenomenal and that's why we are now upgrading this to a 12s yes guys so all the parts have arrived, it is ready to go. So I thought to myself, it was nice to set a benchmark to see where this stands. And this car will now be converted to be running 12S. And oh, we've got some content coming this summer with this car running 12S guys. Uh, put your comments down, let us know what you'd like to see with it. There are some more one fifth scale builds coming on the channel guys. So when I say one fifth builds, I'll give you a little clue up here 
you can see the RF5 rally car. We've got some plans with that. Um, there's also a few other 150s across the top. There's some up there and there. Um, guys, we've got a lot more content coming. The weather's getting better. Oh, we're just warming up. If you loved our content, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that notification button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.